people, I wanted to take a minute to uh, go over a, a step in the creation of um, a project that has multiple levels and one is a roof level because I've got a number of folks that have asked questions about it. So what we have here is just some project open and it has uh, two rooms in it that we're going to use as a footprint. So this is a small house, a two home, two room uh, house and we're going to add a roof to it. Now this is the process I wanted to talk about. You'll notice that this sketch here, this first one, is always called Main Level. But if you right-click on it, down here at this bottom tab, you've got a couple options. Insert Above, Insert Below, or Properties. And I'm going to create a roof level, so I'm choosing Insert Above. All right. When I do that, up pops the Level Properties. I have to give it a name first. I will call it uh, Roof Level. And then hitting the tab key, that's the key with the arrow to the left and the arrow to the right, pops me down into the level code field and I'm auto populated with a level code name. This can be modified, but in this case it works just fine. Now note that the elevation height is 109 feet. Sometimes people ask me about that. What's up with that? Well, the main level as a default is set at 100 feet. So this is the first elevation. It's suggesting that you add it at 109 feet. Um, now, this works fine, provided that you don't have uh, higher than 8-foot ceilings in the sketch that you've created on the main level. And note that uh, because the elevation, the main level elevation is at 100 feet, you actually have 100 feet below um, that you could create you could create elevations for too. You could create levels that go 100 down. So uh, we're fine with this elevation height of 109. We've named it roof level. Now there's actually two steps to confirm what you've done. The first is hitting OK right here. And the second is close. Okay. Now when you've done that, it may look like your diagram, your footprint has disappeared, but it, it hasn't. Here's the main level, this tab. Here's the roof level we've just created. You can actually see a faint dotted outline of the footprint below. That's because this setting right here, Auto Below, is selected. Okay, And that allows you to use some of the features of uh, Xactimate, like the Snap to Grid feature, where you can take a roof and actually put it directly over the footprint because it snaps into place in this inner square. The uh, the inner square, or inner rectangle here represents the uh, that the distance between that and the outer one represents the overhang. So I can place the house down there, uh, the roof. Excuse me. I can slide it over. It snaps into place again, uh, and I can slide it down this way, and it snaps into place here. Okay. So once again, I, uh, this isn't a roof tutorial. This is a levels tutorial. Uh, I had the main level. I right clicked. I chose insert above. I called it uh, roof level. I tabbed down to get the roof uh, level code. Then I clicked on OK and I clicked on close. Okay, and I'm going to cancel this out since I don't actually want to create another level. And that's how you do it. That's how you create multiple levels in Xactimate Sketch.